Now we're looking at our next poem, Hey Scott by Elizabeth Abish. And um, this is an interesting one. Uh, we'll get right into it. I made some nice notes for you to, to help you out. We are recording. Uh, remember the Afrikaans, I always do the Afrikaans here. And then there's an English translation for you there. And then these notes are the ones you need to look out for. Um, they are pretty cool and they will help you to to get through this. Um, if you have a limited time or you just want to supplement your notes or turn 60 to 70, 70 to 80, or just pass the Afrikaans. Use these notes, learn them, they'll really help you. And please also remember to support our books, the Made Simple books, Afrikaans Made Simple and the Cheat Sheets and, and so on. These books are all at your local CNA. Please share uh, this knowledge with, with other people. That'll really help me to keep going as well. Cool. Let's get into the let's get into the um, the poem. Yeah. Uh, hey Scott is a is a house cat. Okay. <laughs> so that's what the poem's about. Um, if, if, if typical Elizabeth Abers, uh, very skillfully written. You'll see. Um, and pretty pretty cool poem. So let's make the best of it. Um, I'm just gonna let's just look at the the um, the translation first, <clears throat> just to get a good feel for what's going on here before we look at these notes. Um, Die kat strak wig op vier strak biene. Okay, so the the cat is stretching. The cat is stretching high on four stiff straight taut legs okay so this cat's waking up or something and not stretching Beich behaaglik see the um, enjambment there flows into the next line <coughs> behaaglik enjoyably sort of uh, pleasurably um Omar Leipert least to lack she stretches out and bends over to to lick her <coughs> lick her tummy look lick, lick her rib area the flanks like a leopard okay then uh, you can almost picture this cat eh? stretching rolling around to lick itself roll om rolls over and lay flivielig oopgeflak velvet like velvet like splayed open um, lying there like cats do exposing their tummy very comfortable okay that keel in borscht in bike the sun can seich very descriptive so that the cat's throat its chest and its belly uh, area torso area can suck up the sun you, you know how cats can lie and sleep in the sun you can picture this cat in your head stretching lying flopping itself down there okay so all all is still good yeah but as you'll see in this poem that this narrator doesn't particularly this this person doesn't particularly enjoy cats in general and not that this cat either um, she doesn't really like cats okay she thinks they have no soul and um, they pretend like they own you so it's not we're dealing with a non-cat person perhaps, perhaps a dog person so it, it's sort of tongue-in-cheek a bit um, that's sort of the tone the tone of this poem okay Ons, we, this must be um, the family, the, <laughs> the cat's human family, we call her cat. This cat doesn't have a name. Why? Want zij is zonder ziel. She's without a soul. This cat has no soul. Um, it has no sort of uh, personality or any real feeling or warmth to it. I think that's what it means. Sonder Seal, and again, there's the Yamba Ment and Jamment, in anonym and anonymous. This cat is called cat because it doesn't have a soul and it's anonymous. It's really a nobody cat. It's just like a cat that pitched up there, probably um, mixed breed, tabby cat, sort of, um, you know, these, we've all seen them around. Okay. Small scarva van achat. See the. the, the start of a sentence in the middle of a, of a line in a poem uh, 
Elizabeth Abish likes doing that. Okay, there's a reason for it. We'll look, we'll discuss it just now. The small scarab van a god star coat eighty three hoekige gelaat. So narrow splinters of this of this um, um, this stone. Okay, a god can be in many colors, but it's not a pure sort of. It's not a pure precious stone. It's mixed. It's a very mixed color stone. Small scarab from a god star coat at the three hoekige gelaat. So these these shards of this precious or non-precious stone stares out of the cold triangular face of this cat. Notice the description of a cold face without a soul. The eyes are on pure. They sort of broken and, and shards of different colors typical of a of a tabby cat hey eh? lustig she calls the cat ach lustig like crafty like um deceptive almost like you can't trust this animal you don't know how to quite figure out this cat um fluibla fluibla she's she's liquid in the way she moves very smooth flexible cat Remember, tabby cats are very healthy. Their bodies are very flexible. There's no sort of inbred problems or anything. But she she calls them uh, flexible like a reptile. Okay, that's an insult to a cat. If you're going to call a cat a reptile, it's, it's not a good, it's not a compliment. Okay, so there are quite a few indications that she's not a cat fan, not a cat person. Uh, van los in lenig wees. Versadig, from being sort of loose and flexible and supple, she is satiated. She's to the point of satiation. She's full. She's like the whole aura about this cat is just being lean and flexible. Almost like, I suppose, the cat looks almost sort of like it's showing off, like it's a bit arrogant. She's got a bit of a, a superiority thing here. Okay. But this, of course, is all tongue in cheek. It's all in the mind of the narrator. Cats don't, you can't, a cat cannot be arrogant. It's an animal. Okay. <laughs> well, you might disagree. Um, Say so nooit. She will never, again, the Yamba meant the, the sort of flowing uh, enjambment fits in with this flexible cat. Say so nooit. Die vier zit al recht gemaakt in fixed that's the sort of um colloquial way of saying she was um neutered hey the cat was or the cat was um the vet has made done a little operation if it's um to make sure that the cat doesn't have babies the ecstasy and the anxiety Wat leerwe voorbrang smaak, sal steeds eenselvig alle teerheid steeds. So, um, she will never, so so nooit, just, it's a long sentence, so just keep your head here. She will never, okay, then you go to taste, she will never taste, smaak, the ecstasy, the happiness. She will never taste the happiness and the anxiety that comes from what? Never footprint. That comes from giving birth. Having ba having kittens. Okay. So she will never taste the anxiety and the, the ecstasy of having kittens bringing forth life. Okay. Bringing forth life. Because the, the vet has fixed her up. Okay. So steeds in selvig alle teerheid state. Because of this, because she'll never have babies, she'll always be um, sort of the same. Steeds in selvig, always the same, always without tenderness. State means um, to stop. She will stop all <coughs> tenderness. So the narrator is basically saying that because this cat will never have the experience of having kittens, 
it has taken away something of her personality that she's quite a cold um, cat sort of a unfriendly distant um, cat okay whether that's fair or unfair I don't know but it's just it's just a part it's just a it's not a it's not a opinion about the world or anything I call my hunt boots on and then she's like she like sticks out her hand um, she sort of holds out a cupped hand or whole hunt boots on sort of carefully because you remember this cat is can't really be trusted it might, it might lash out but what does the cat do small and nice word scornfully wouldn't um, the other word for for small and I took I took notes um, on that for you. Small and is pretty very cut fry from the cut look min achtend. So small and min achtend, that's another word you can use for small and like you like she doesn't really regard you as worthy of touching her or uh, giving her a little rub or something. Our oor kronkel by my geert for by her eyes wriggle past my grasp. Okay. Her eyes wriggle past my grasp. She escapes. She doesn't like to be petted and, and, and touched. Okay. So that's an interesting one. It's not a very endearing poem towards uh, cats in general, but I think it's just it's just a bit of it's just a bit of fun. It's not nothing nothing too serious. Okay. So here we have the notes. Let's have a look at these notes quickly. Um, the title. So there's no D here. Can you see it's just haste cut? There's no D. It says it's universal. This is a for any kind of the algemene haste cut. It's about the general house cat's um, nature, geartheid, and personality. I'm going to use human terms to describe this cat because cats, <laughs> cats think they are human. So um, you can't always do that. But for this poem, I think you can. Okay, the cat strap. So the cat is stretching out. Possibly it was lying and sleeping. And yum, and yum, but meant. Why is it spelling look wrong? No, it is right. That and yum, meant. So it became, this is the note you need to learn for for all this and yum, meant because there's lots, eh? Uh, there's every, it's everywhere. So just be careful of this. It's important for this poem, especially in yum, meant. It became to in the Egalige strek van die kat. It, it emphasizes the, the the smooth stretching movements of of the cat. Egalige strek. Um, let's just say in beweging van die kat. Okay. Behaaglik. Um, yeah, this cat's very happy within itself. As long as you don't Try to touch it or pet it or something. Um, almost the cat like the, the, the cat looks a bit arrogant, uh, um, a bit uh, s snobby almost. Uh, almost like it thinks it's like a leopard. But I think most cats think they like giant leopards. Um, supple and stark, she's a clean leopard. She's supple and she's strong like a, like a small leopard. And it's here where we sort of notice um, that the narrator doesn't really like cats. Only by a spreker. There's a P missing there. Spreker only by a from Katani. Flivielig op geflek. The flivielig describes the soft hairs on the on the tummy of the of the cat. Not all cats will allow you to rub their tummies. Um, my cat certainly didn't. Uh, the cat is spielsome and gemakkelijk, so it's playful, it's comfortable. Suig die son, she sucks. That's a nice S, alliteratie, do you see it? Alliteration. The cat bak in die son, you can, you can picture it baking in the sun, like all cats do. So this ons, who is this ons now? So, uh, uh, clean up a bit here quickly. This ons 
um, yeah, who is this? Well, it's the it's the family. It's the Heiskerson by Vidikat Vuen. It's the family that the cat lives with. Um, we, they, they call a cat. There's no name, so we can sort of assume that the cat just pitched up there. There's no real proof of that, but why else wouldn't they give the cat a name? So is it because the cat is without soul and it's anonymous. It's anonym. The cat is not by a lift of form. It's not very loving. That's what it means. There it becomes clear. She doesn't like cats. The cat is wild and gebruik net die gesin om kost en slaap plek te kry. This is the feeling we get that the cat is quite wild. It's from it comes from somewhere, and only uses the family to get food and, and a sleeping place. Alle gee nie vir die cat a naam nie. They don't give the cat a name. Om het nie van hom nie. They don't like this really like this cat or they don't really value it. You don't know what exactly the family circumstances like there. Um, interesting the. The full stop in the middle of the of the sentence sort of confirms the idea that this cat is soulless and anonymous. It emphasizes that. Okay, that's what that full stop does to me. I think uh, your teacher might have a different idea. Um, it can also that break in the sentence can also um, emphasize the next idea. That its eyes are like broken shards, just like that sentence is broken. Whew. I don't even know how you would say that in a sentence. Um, okay, D. I don't think. Will they ask that? I doubt it. But just so you know, that's that's why, just for interest's sake, that is why it's there. Okay, so this achat is a is sort of a bastestian, a half edelstian, a half a precious stone. It's a clip for flacker. It's full of. If you, I uh, should have pasted a picture in here, but it's got lots of colors. Uh, you can get so many <coughs> of these colors of these stone. So it's like tabby cats. I mean, they come in all shapes, colors, and sizes, really. You got this new obrache deal. This 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 uh, term, the shards, start go in the cat's eye. Uh, its eyes. And its triangular face. It shows us that this cat is not purebred. This is just a tabby cat. So the cat star coat. How can a cat give a cold look? So th this is starting to touch on our theme, which I think the theme is um, that, that um, as people we project our emotions onto animals, um, how we feel. We project those feelings onto onto animals, whether correctly or incorrectly. Uh, so people also abuse animals because they don't feel good about themselves, and then they hurt animals. Or when people go overboard with uh, looking after animals, like really pampering them, it's something inside them that they're projecting onto the animal. Um, I think that's that's the theme here. Um, anyway. We'll look at that later. Geen meer gevoel nie wil soos a leis leipaard. This, this, um, coat. Ach lustig, cold. It shows that the cat has no feeling, no, no sort of compassion, almost. Okay, it doesn't come to be rubbed, it doesn't jump on your lap or play with your uh, laces or things like that. Okay, ach lustig is a strong word <laughs> to describe a cat. Bedrieglik. It's it can betray you, it can uh, fool you. So the cat is using its charm to abuse the family's sense of um, sense of decency. Okay, shame. There's a cat. Feed it, and then you feed the cat, and the cat looks like it's grateful, but. This narrator is saying, no, 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 this cat's just being charming and abuses, it's charmer is charming, Miss Break abuses the family's sense of of um, <coughs> decency, of of caring, sense of caring for animals, besorgtheid. Then she says it's like a reptile, a cat wordt gelijk met a, like a 
lizard or something. That's quite derogatory near Haaland. It's like a, ne a very negative description. Okay. Rechemark. Right now we get to this part where um, the vet has fixed this this cat. Um, and so you can just note here as this. The cats will not anti on plankies The cat will never breed and have kittens, kikes. Um, then it talks about that anxiety and ex ecstasy. I'm wondering whether the narrator herself can't have, can't, maybe can't have kids. That's a bit of a wild suggestion. I think it's maybe going too far, but just a suggestion. She's, pro she's projecting, projecting her feelings on, on the kitten. That she said, oh, you'll never feel the, the anxiety or the ecstasy um, that having, and that's certainly so. Um, not that I've um, had to carry children myself, obviously. But I've seen my wife do it and it's hectic. Trust me. Um, so, Rechemach, the cat will never on to a little kijkjes krijgen, die angst en extase, dus al die positieve en negatieve emoties van geboorte gee, sal die kat nie voel nie. So all the positive, all the positive and negative emotions of giving birth, the cat will never feel. Ok. Sy sal alle teerheid stuit, she will stop all tenderness, because she hasn't experienced that's a that's quite a harsh assertion um, to say that someone or the cat won't be able to be tender because it hasn't had kids. You speak it min gevoel for the cat. Dog can say word. Maybe that's a bit overboard. Um, sorry, there's a spelling error there. So, I call my hand, and then <laughs> look what happens here. She hollows her hand, bootsome, like carefully, but then smile it. That's quite a strong, wound is the other word. Um, minachtend, like with total disregard. But cats do, you see, cats do that. Cats are like that. They can, like, totally disregard you. That's why you can't teach a cat tricks. Um, so, but the narrator is quite strong in her judgment towards the cat. So the speaker probably the cat five, the cat loop min achtend weg, does not give a damn, it just walks uh, walks away. Right, just to finish up. Uh, whoa, what's going on here? What is going on here? So there's just an E missing there. I hope you can see it. Okay, so the theme, like we said, isn't it this? That people, mensen projecteer hulle eie gevoelens op die van dieren, katte, dink mense, is hulle eiendom. So, people project their own feelings on that of animals. And maybe sometimes cats like, just think that, People are their um, owners, okay, or their own people. They own their owners. Um, maybe that's the theme is also speaking to or describing the personality or the nature of cats. Maybe that's the theme. It's just the nature of cats from the perspective of a non-cat person. Okay, so we have the Italian sonnet here, um, Tre Catrina and Octave. This is the four four um, and the eight. To finish off with, then there's umarmde rhyme, um, like yeah, and then that's umarmde rhyme. Okay, the speaker in the cat, the pike is kreis op een ongewenste manier. So they, that's what I just a note. Maybe they are something about the meaning of the, of the um, the rhyme scheme. Which I doubt they will, but I just said the the 
the narrator and the cat's paths cross in an unwanted manner. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Um, so very important the Enyamba Mente, don't forget about that. And you need to know all the words in this poem. There's some, some big Afrikaans words. Um, and yeah, just the, the theme becomes very important. Cool, I hope it helps. Um, please support our books. Uh, tell your friends as well. If they struggle with Afrikaans from other schools, other provinces, just do pop into CNA. Thank you so much. And uh, we will we'll chat, we'll chat again soon. Bye-bye.